named Papa Virgil led him back to that old heathen practice known as voodoo. And good old Papa Virgil, well, he took on a new name, Baron Saturday. That evil in the darkness knew this was his time. Men, women, even children started going missing. The great fear took hold of folks, and a name was whispered throughout the village. A fierce man beast covered in fur, a mouth of razors with claws to match. Many Negro men went hunting the Rougarou, but none of them returned. Desperate to fend off that beast, the simple-minded folks scarred the banks of the bayou with voodoo dolls. Horrific things made of human bones and hair, and painted in blood. But this dissuaded the Rougarou not one bit, and some say things got worse. Much worse. this through, boy? You think you can come in here and steal my heroin without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you 
stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, please, please, listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. Set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca. 
We wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man, Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a portion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. <laughs>